Hey, what's up guys? This is Astromax and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. So, Abyss Floor 79, almost the last one. So, Tenebria is going to be the boss and I'm going to put Angelica in front. Her skills, attack with an explosion of dark energy, chance to target for two turns, increase combat readiness of all allies except for the caster. When you're targeted, you're rece you are receiving 15% increased damage from all the enemies that damage you. Uh, summons Om Omnius Thunder to attack all enemies, decreasing combat readiness and decreasing speed for two turns. Three turn cooldown. Uh, debuff immunity of course is huge, uh, or you need at least cleansing because the enemy is gonna gain too many turns on you if you don't uh, take this off. But also, if you have debuff immunity, you are immune to uh, combat readiness manipulation. Nightmare dr uh, drops Moon of Nightmare on all enemies with a chance to decrease attack and defense for two turns. Once again, uh, this is a four, uh, four turn cooldown, so if you don't have debuff immunity, you can just time your, uh, your cleanse for after it lands. Uh, just make sure you have enough speed and you are able to cut be, uh, in between uh, Tenebrio and the enemy, you don't want them to go right after this drops on you with a defense down. It could be lethal if one of your damage dealer receives defense down and gets targeted after. Uh, attacks with a Cursed Sword, 50% chance to decrease defense for one turn. Strongly attacks with a sword, activating X slash, okay. So it's like a double attack, 3 turn cooldown. Now this thing is really dangerous. Increase speed and crit chance to an ally except for the caster for 2 turns. Crit chance increase will boost the crit chance by 50%. So if the enemy has that, they're gonna start <laughs> landing some crits on you at 150% uh, multiplier. So you definitely don't want to uh, have them with this, you definitely want to take this far Plenty old, uh, out ASAP. Increase max health. We'll see who is on which uh, wave. But you guys already know from the video's uh, thumbnail. Attacks with uh, tongue and ignore 50% of the enemy's defense. Attacks with a huge explosion damage dealt increases proportional to the amount of the enemy's lost health. If the enemy's health is less than 50% on an ally's attack, make makes the enemy unhealable for two turns. Yeah, that is very annoying to deal with that unhealable debuff if you definitely want to take that out ASAP decrease combat readiness attacks with a cross dimensional torn inflicting silence for two turns dimensional attack occurs twice decreasing attack for two turns on the second attack oh. we'll see who uh, who spared with who nightmare power attack increases when the caster's health is less than 50% okay so let's go in there. Once again, uh, fire heavy uh, enemy team versus my triple earth team, which is what I've been using uh, since like floor 60. Didn't change anything. But I did uh, increase the survival of silk just a bit in the last, uh, on the last one or two floors. Yeah. So I think it is helpful, but you, most of the Abyss, you don't need the crazy survival. With Aureus uh, plus 15, you can have uh, 7,000 health and 700 defense has been fine. I mean, there's a barrier as well that helps, but there's so many times I got hit by ultimate abilities without the barrier and I wasn't one shot. If you are fighting a, an element that counters you, if you're at the element disadvantage, you will be... Uh, well, you will be more likely to be crushed. You are likely to be crushed. And that's 130% normal damage. That's gray numbers that are like big gray numbers. So if you get hit by that, or if you just get hit multiple times on the same, uh, on your same hero that is squishy, you could just lose that hero and eventually wipe. But uh, most of the Abyss floors, uh, you can use uh, Poison, you can use Daydream Joker, you can use uh, Guardians, everything does. All of these deal damage based on the target's max health. You can use more than one Daydream Joker. 
maybe use one hero, two hero, three hero, four hero with Daydream Joker. I mean, I wouldn't go up to four, but I mean, uh, having Aureus does help, uh, re lowers the uh, required uh, defensive stats. Having Prophetic Candlestick on your healer, which is in front, lowering its cooldown does definitely help. Silk is free, everyone can get her. Speed buff uh, on your team and speed debuff on the enemy lets you uh, go more often than the enemy and you can control their combat readiness with Silk skill 1. Just need to have a good amount of effect effect uh, effectiveness. But we'll see how this uh, this floor is in terms of damage. Now there's the big ads that are, that are gonna show up. Well, I mean, at least one, one or more, that will show up with Tenebria. And uh, yeah, they, they, they seem quite dangerous. We'll see how it goes. Tenebria, just like her, her whole kit, seems very lethal. Uh, like a lot of uh, area attack, and if you have a squishy hero on your team, it will be hit. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So that crystal needs to die ASAP. Buff speed. On the previous wave, if you want to manual or turn off your skills just before the, the second wave because you, you want your stuff to be ready. Now there is already crit uh, buff on uh, one of the ad. If you have Angelica, you definitely want to soul burn her skill 4 on this, uh, th her skill 3, her ultimate on this stage. Now there's some passive that we couldn't see before. Increases max health of all allies except for the caster. So there's that. At least you need to take out the crystal, the crystal at the very least. Acolytes protection. When the caster is attacked, combat readiness of all allies increases by 15%. Okay, so this makes it easy that I mean, you have to take out the ads or you will uh, get those uh, ads to go more often if you're just focusing on Tenebria. There's also speed buff on her. So yeah, you could get targeted. You get 15% increased damage on uh, whoever's targeted on your team. Then there's the decreased speed and uh, there's the decreased attack and defense. Quite a deadly uh, combination. Now, I will be provoking the add with the crit. No, actually, hmm, probably just take out, I mean, take out the speed from Tenebria. I could have dropped defense down on the crystal, but the crystal will still buff because it's the, the crystal skill one is the buff. So if I provoke, it's not going to change anything. I would have dropped defense down, which means I could take the crystal out faster. Uh, I just want Tenebria to be slower. Don't need to heal quite yet. Just slowly chipping at the enemy's health. If you are running poison, this this floor can definitely be done with poison. It's just Kyris against uh, fire. It's not going to be uh, super effective at landing her poisons, but you can uh, with high effectiveness. There's still that 50% chance that you will miss, me uh, meaning you will deal 75% normal damage and you will not be able to land any debuff or crit. <coughs> So, but you can eventually just have enough poison stacked on her and just take her out. Just make sure your team is uh, able to survive all the damage that's going to go your way. And these adds, uh, these adds can deal quite a bit of damage when they are below 50% health. I'm pretty sure it was saying like they deal extra damage. Heal up. So yeah, crystal first. Oh, there's a crit buff on Tenebria. 
see she just landed a crit against uh, my ice hero. Definitely that crit. There we go. Stun. At least stun makes it so it, it cannot use skill 1. If you silence the crystal, the crystal can still uh, use its skill 1, I believe. Because it's a skill 1. That's like the basic skill. So there's only... Uh, there's only stun, or even provoke, yeah, provoke I said that it doesn't work. Because 50% crit buff is very dangerous. Especially on Tenebria, definitely. Paired with her uh, area damage, her, her AoE attacks. Now if you do have defense down on your one of your hero, this is gonna really hurt if it gets targeted. Need to heal. It's taking longer because it's earth versus fire, but should be doable. It's done again, nice. Let's take off this uh, speed buff. You can also just, if one of the ad has a crit chance buff, you could just. If you have Clurry in your, on your team, just provoke that ad, have the buff go away and have the ad provoked. So it's uh, it's gonna attack your Clurry instead of uh, someone else on your team. But you don't need this uh, team combination to, uh, to do uh, the Abyss Force. You can, uh, you can just have uh, very... A good uh, defensive team. Just having a knight with Orius helps. Uh oh. Oh my god, that's the thing. Really low. <laughs> good lord. Kill it! Alright. That okay, definitely provoking an ad is gonna help. Their damage is crazy. They definitely don't like silk. I should have been provoking an ad. It's it makes things way easier if I did it that way. So close to losing Silk. Just gonna provoke the other one. Man, they, uh, they don't mess around. I don't have defense down anymore, but it's fine. Just get my team healthy. Could do this with just a very tanky team by using guardians like any of the guardian they deal uh, damage based on the target's max health uh, first guardian deals 10 percent of the target's max health second guardian's 15 percent and uh, third guardian 12 percent it's just uh, second and uh, third guardian deal uh, i mean cost more soul to cast than uh, first guardian that's why i'm using guardian one because uh, it does require less souls, so I can do more damage per soul. But really, if you don't have debuff immunity, timing is going to be massive. It's going to be huge. 
saving your uh, your debuff removal for the at the right time will make a big difference because I mean if you use it it's on cooldown and then the boss goes and drops the fence down you are in big trouble if you get targeted again if you get targeted again it, it, it could be lethal lethal but most of the abyss floor you just take out the ads and then kill the boss but on the previous one actually like working on the boss worked out better well, you can check out the video anyways if you are on this one it's probably did or watched the previous one All right, so it's just an Ebria. Just need to uh, keep the team healthy and keep that debuff immunity up, and uh, should be good. Her damage multiplier don't seem to be on the high side. It's it's all about controlling the debuffs that you you do receive and the debuffs that you apply. If you can drop attack down debuff on the enemy, of course it's gonna, it's gonna cut the attack in half, so it's gonna be way less of a threat. You see there was some crit there. And it still wasn't anything crazy, but she did manage to uh, land the speed down on uh, three of my heroes. Now I can just slowly chip at her health and eventually take her down. Uh, Bellona deals a lot of damage because she's her skill one scales off of the target's max health and it scales with crit chance crit damage for some really nice numbers the higher their health the more damage I do really she is not a threat by herself it's just getting that crystal to buff her crit chance and uh, if she drops defense down debuff and then she goes again or one of the ads just decide to target whoever receives defense down you will be in big trouble so you just try again and just control uh, the debuff that you receive and that you apply but attack down debuff makes things so much easier I don't have it with this team but if you can get it in yours get it Akatis with uh, Kairos Akatis drops attack down debuff for two turns on skill one and then uh, Kairos can extend the debuff duration the problem is that Kairos is earth and I mean, the boss is fire so there's that you, you have 50% chance to miss but it's an example that you applied uh, debuffs and then Kairos can prolong them. And also, I mean, you're bound to drop some poison debuffs, even if you're doing Earth versus Fire, and uh, she'll, she'll just eventually die. Or you can just take her out with Daydream Joker. Just have your team tanky enough. Oh, I should use a speed buff. Uh, just have your team tanky enough so you can just survive the big damage I guess I mean you could have this running on auto it'll just eventually kill her a lot of health 361,000 but she'll die she'll die that's all it is the abyss it's, it's just huge health the damage numbers are nothing insane but you do have to control those debuffs I'll be showing the, uh, my uh, team's gear after this. It's 
Bob the Guardian. Or let's just do that. Maybe I can proc a dual attack. Ah, no. Let's just use the Guardian. It does increase the chance because I'm using Lightning uh, Infinity Basket on Silk. Alright, floor 79. Okay, so my gear now. Skill ups, Bellona, Silk, Clary, Angelica. And here's the gear. Just pause if I go too quick. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video. Do have 125% uh, effectiveness on Silk. 100% is plenty. But the boss is in the abyss. They have 25% effect resistance, so you don't need that much. I went overboard, but I like to have as much as possible. This uh, speed down debuff does really help and the combat readiness uh, reduction on skill 1 from Silk is, is quite huge. So uh, yeah, check out my other videos, they should be on the screen. I got guides, gameplay videos of all sorts for Epic 7, so check those out if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, subscribe, peace out for now.